Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are on the Texas Tropical Trail in the valley, in Edinburgh to be exact, which is a bit north of the valley but it still counts. And we're at the South Texas History Museum, which is housed in this lovely building with this lovely staircase. So it's pretty cool when you get there to be greeted by something so pretty. I like the tile work that you see on it. But once you get here, you get to see a lot of the history for South Texas, starting with the oh, prehistory and dinosaurs and rocks and fossils and mammoths and all that kind of stuff that used to be here in Texas before humanity learned how to crawl out of the bushes and jump off the trees. You get to see some pretty cool fossils and everything. And then you finally get to the prehistory, pre-Columbian history, and then it takes you to Spanish history, and you get to imagine what it would look like to be a conquistador, and this armor is tiny, so either Spaniards were tiny or I'm huge. Can't tell which one. Probably I'm huge. Um, but that armor isn't really protecting me much, and it's heavy, so I'm glad I'm not a Spaniard. But you get to see some of the weapons that they had, and which gave them an advantage over the natives, and get to see the religion they were trying to bring. And then when they start settling, you get to see some of the artifacts from back then and see how it is they tried making their haciendas and little villages and everything to try to make foothold here in Texas to try to survive and try to make it part of New Mexico. Not New Mexico, you know, like the New Spain, I mean, which was Mexico. But you get to walk around, see what life was like. Some of these recreations are pretty well done. You get to learn a lot from reading the plaques and everything. So take your time while you're walking around and read some of these things. It really does teach you a lot. And it takes you through the whole history of South Texas. How it went from prehistoric, Native Americans, the Spanish, Mexico, and finally into railroads and why railroads were so important to South Texas. You know, they had to take their goods somewhere, somehow. So once the railroads finally came in, it just just a boon for everybody. It was a lot easier to transfer things and it created sort of like boomtown areas and with boomtown areas comes cities and all the stuff that cities need so it was pretty cool seeing how all that came together and this museum does a pretty good job of showcasing all of those things and it also talks about war and stuff because you know the South Texas is part of the United States, so it affected them also. Then start showing you some more modern stuff, some historical stuff from the era, and then you can cross over from one of the buildings to the other. You can see some of the galleries that are always changing. That's an old phone. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Um, but they have more exhibits here on this other side. I think these are rotating exhibits so it'll be different every time you go but I think it's part of the of the jail cell and it shows you some of the history behind that jail cell and nooses and stuff which always kind of are freaky and that's where they would drop them yeah creepy the ex exhibit they had there was Borderlands and I've seen so much of this art and I didn't know it was all like really attributed to this one guy, which makes sense now. I mean, it's all the same style, but um, there was some artists that they contracted to make art all about the South Texas borderlands. And that's all of it right there. This stuff is very detailed, very cool. And... If you have studied Texas, then you have definitely seen his art. Then outside they have like a little patio area, picnicking areas, just to go there and relax. 
But anyways, thanks for checking out the South Texas History Museum with me. I hope you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.